So we've been talking about this generational piece. We've been talking about these characteristics. We're going to talk about how they play out in the workplace. We're going to talk about bumps ahead, what's coming at us. So we know that some of those challenges we face include things like career paths and career links. And we'll talk about that. Communication preferences. Man, these people, they only text. They don't actually know how to hold a conversation. Well, it's not really true, but let's talk about the context of that and how it plays out in the workplace. And then let's talk about office protocol, attire, technology, change. Those are all things that are coming up in this segment. So let's kick it off with this piece where we talk about the corporate ladder versus the corporate lattice. Organizations are changing structures right now. It used to be a corporate ladder where I went, I started here, I worked my way up the ladder, and ultimately what happened is I landed in the corner office with glass windows. That was my goal, especially if I was a baby boomer, that's what I wanted. I wanted that corner office with the glass windows. But what ended up happening, 80 million of those boomers out there working really hard, not retiring, not opening up any spots with corner windows. And so all of a sudden these other generations come in and going, wait a second, but, but I'd like to do something else with my career. I'd like to move, but there's nowhere up the chain to go because they're all filled with baby boomers. So the organizational changes that we've seen include this move to the corporate lattice. And as you can see, it looks more like a puzzle. And so I maybe start in HR and I go, I don't know if I want to stay in this field because I'm never going to move up here or I'm not even sure I like HR. I want to switch over here and I want to do accounting and I want to do trust management. Okay, so that seems like a really drastic change, but it's the basic skill set that we're looking at. And then they stay there for a few years and think, how do I do the next thing? So maybe I want to actually try marketing. Oh, that would be good. I'm going to try marketing. So they had this zigzag pattern and movement within these careers and career paths. And so the challenge for organizations is how do I keep people in my organization? How do I keep them here if I don't have opportunities for them to move up? So let's look at the next piece, which will help us out with that. And it has to do with the length of time on a job. So millennials, on average, hold a job for two years. That's on average. And then Gen Xers, four. And then we get up to baby boomers, a total of seven. Seven years on the job. So the challenge becomes, oftentimes, I'm reading a resume as a manager, and I've got this person who's had three jobs in the last five years. How can I trust that person to be on my team? How can I even think about hiring them in this because it really takes two years to even get up to speed. So what is that gonna look like for us? How does, how does that work within our organization? So one of the things I talk to managers about a lot is reading resumes differently. So you've got this resume in front of you. I have to look at that differently. I have to look at the skills of that person and I have to evaluate how do I bring that person into our organization and not how do I hold them in this position and in this job, but back to that lattice, what other things within our organization might they be interested in doing? Maybe they want to move over here, or maybe they want to move over there, but they can shine with me for two years, and then they can take off and take flight into a new job within our organization. So we really have to wrap our brains around that. We have to think about how are we doing this as an organization? And one of the things you need to be aware of, it's not a ladder. It's this crazy little lattice where people are zipping all over. So don't freak out about the time spent on the job. Think about the skill set of what you need. Our work environment is changing and we need to figure out how do we function within that.